Okay. Uh, right, so that was number one. So again, if you watched the video yesterday and you look at your homework, that should be enough for you to complete this. So let's do the top here. So the top is a two and this is a six. So it's a two. And this is a six, and we have another one at the bottom. So that's six and two. And two times six is twelve. There's a times there. Two times six is twelve. So we did the top and we did the bottom. Okay. Now if you take another color, well, let's do the front. The front is a twelve by six. Right? So again, and there's one in the back. So we gotta go, we have a twelve by six, twelve and six. And we have another one in the back. 12 by 6, and what's 12 times, or 6 times 12? 72, and we have another one that's 72. Then we have the side, the right side here. That's, a, what, what is that? Oh, let me erase, sorry. So now we have the side here, and this one. And this is a 12, and this is a 2. So this one is a 12 by 2. 12 and 2, and we have, again, another one. 12 and 2, so it would be 12 times 2, which is 24. 12 times 2, which is 24. So now we can add the surface area is 12 plus 12 plus 72 plus 72 plus 12, oops, plus 12, plus, sorry, plus 24, plus 24. So I have a calculator, I do I have, so 12 plus 12, la, 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 la. 24 plus 24 plus 72 plus 72 plus 24 equals 216. The surface area 216 feet squared. Next one. Okay, so let's do the triangle. Here's my triangle. Okay. So what's the base of this triangle? The base is 6. So we have two triangles, right? One in the front, one in the back here. There's another one in the back. So they're both six and the height is four. And the height is four. So half times six times four. And that's going to be equal to 12. And we have another one half times six times four. And that's going to be equal to 12. I'm going to erase this. And then we're going to do this side. Now, this side over here. Okay. That is a, if you can tell, it's a 5 here, right? And it's 11. So we have a 5 by 11, and 5 times 11 is 55. Notice that the other side, and there's another one on the other side, okay? Right, there's another one, and that's also a 5 by 11. So in this case, they're, they're both the same. 5 times, oops, 5 times 11 is 55. And then I'm going to erase this because now it's getting confusing. And we have our floor, the piso. And we have here, this is a 6 by 11. Okay, so let me draw it. That's the rectangle where we sleep, right? So pretend that's a tent. So that one is a 6 by 11. 6 times 11 equals 66. So we have everything we need. So it's 12, so it's 12, so it's 55. 55 plus 66. So we get da da da. 110 plus 66. Total 200 centimeters squared. Now, here again, so let's do this one. Um, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Let's do the top. Top, that is 6. This is 6. And the length here is 12. So it's a 6. Oh, sorry, not 12. 14. Oops. So that is again a six and that's fourteen. So we have another one. We have a six and fourteen because there's one at the bottom. Don't we don't forget that there's one at the bottom. Yeah. So six times fourteen is eighty-four. So six times fourteen is eighty-four. Six times fourteen is eighty-four. So we did top and bottom. Now let's do the front here. Let's do this front here. This front is a 6 by 12, right? There's a 6 and going up is 12. And don't forget, there's one in the back. 
right? So 6 and 12, 6 and 12, 6 times 12 is 72, 6 times 12 equals 72, right? And then for last, for the demo, we're going to do the sides and change colors. Why not? This side right here, left side, that's 14 and going up is 12. And there's a one in the back, 14 and 12, right? So we have two more and I'll do it over here. Right, it's a 14 and going up is 12 and there's another one, 14 and 12. So what's 14 times 12? Is 168. And there's another one, 14 times 12 and 168. So now we have all six faces. So it's 84 plus 84 plus 72 plus 72 plus 168 plus 168. 84 plus 84 plus 72 plus 72 plus 168 plus 168. Uh, <laughs> <hold on. sighs> Enter 648 meters squared. triangular prism so let's do this one this is a triangle right and the height's 9 and the base is 12 and remember there's another triangle here in the back and it's also a 9 and 12 okay so half times 9 times 12 and that's gonna be 108.54 Okay, so this one is the same, half times 9 times 12 is going to be 54. Okay. So now we have to do, we did the triangle, so let's do this part right here, the ramp. This is a 6 by 15, so that rectangle here, there's a 15 here and 6, so we multiply 6 times 15 and that gives us 90. Okay, so now we have to do the back part here. This, and I'll put a little line like that. Right, got to do that part right there. So it's a nine, and this is six. So we have another one in the back, which is nine and six. And nine times six is fifty-four. And last, the last part of our, the last face that we do, we do here is the bottom, so right here. Don't forget. There is this, right? And this is a 12 by 6, and you can see that, right? That's easy. 12 by 6, and 12 times 6 equals 72. So we have the area of all our, our, our faces. The surface area is 54 plus 54 plus 90 plus 54 plus 72. I'm going to do what that is. 4 plus 90 plus 54 plus 72. And that gives you 324 meters squared. Now this, a rectangular piece, this is the easiest of them, right? So this is 4 by, and what is this? A 9. So the top, and there's no one at the bottom, right? So that's a 4 by 9, 4 by 9. And we have another one at the bottom, a 4 by 9. 4 times 9 is 36. Times nine is thirty-six. Now we're going to do the front. Let's do the front. This is a sixteen by nine. And don't forget, there's another one in the back. So sixteen times nine. There's another one in the back. Sixteen times nine. That is one forty-four. And then we're missing what? The top and the bottom. We did the top and bottom. We're looking, we're, sorry. We gotta do the sides now. The left side and the right side. So here is, this is 16. And what is this? 16 and four, All right? So we have 16 and four, which is uh, 64. And we have another one here, 16 
and four, right on this side. That's also 16 times four, which is 64. For the surface area, 36 plus 36 plus 144 plus 144, 64 plus 64. So let's add a 36 plus 36 plus one, ah, 36 plus 36 plus 144 plus 144. Plus 64, plus 64, enter 488 um, inches squared. Okay. Six and seven, now I asked you not to do it because we haven't done cylinders. Uh, eight, okay, so eight again. Let's do the top. This is a 14, how much is this? It's a seven, so it's a 14. Seven, and remember there's one at the bottom. We have 14 and 7 two times. So let me do it like this. 7, 14, 7, 14. And what's 7 times 14? No idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seven, uh, 7 times 14 equals 98. And there's 2, don't forget. So 7 times 14 equals 98. One for each. That was the top and bottom. Let's do the right side and left side. So here, this one is a seven up. And then what is this? It's a 14. Another seven and 14. And remember, there's another one on this side. So it's another seven and 14, another seven and 14. Seven times 14 is 98. 7 times 14 again is 98. So we had actually four sides that were the same. Sorry, I didn't realize that. I'm not paying attention, but it's okay. So four rectangles. And then in the front, we have a square. There's a 7 by 7. And here in the back, there's another square of 7 by 7. So that's easy. 7 and 7 is 49. And we have another 7 and 7. 7 times 7. which is 49. So now we can add all our faces. So surface area is 98 plus 98 plus 98 plus 98. So all the faces. And then plus 49 plus 49. Okay. 98 plus 98 uh, plus 49 plus 49 equals 490 feet squared. <coughs> Finally, the last one, let's do the triangle. That's a 10 base and the height's 12. 10, height's 12. Another 10, height's 12. Okay, so on a triangle, it's half base times height. So half times 10 times 12, that's going to give us 60. And remember, there's another one, half times 10 times 12, and it's going to be 60. So we've taken care of our two faces here, the triangle in the front and the triangle in the back. So let's do this side now, the rectangle. This is 14, and what's, what's the height here? 14 is 13. Okay, so this is a rectangle, 14 times 13, and remember, this one is the same, so the other side of the tent, there's another 14 times 13. So there's one here, right? That's a tent. This is 14 and then 13. And on the other side, right? There's another. Uh, I can't draw, sorry. And on the other side, there's another rectangle, which is 14 and 13. Ah, sorry, 14 and 13. So there's base time height, 14 times 13, and 14 times 13 is 182. 14 times 13, 182. And the last piece that we we, are, we need here is if you think about this, it looks like a tent. Where do we sleep? We sleep on the bottom. And at the bottom, the piso, 
we have a rectangle, right? So, Jesus. We have a rectangle, right, where we sleep. So what's that rectangle? Well, this is 10, and how much is this? This is 14, so we have a 10 by 14. And 10 times 14, that's easy, 140. So the surface area is going to be 60 plus 60 plus 192 plus 192 plus 140. Sixty plus sixty uh, sixty plus sixty plus one ninety two plus one ninety two plus one forty. And we have our final answer which is six hundred and forty four millimeters. Okay. That was simple.